Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Redneck Ways. How's everybody doing out there in YouTube land? I'm not doing too awful bad here in old Kentucky. It is Saturday evening. I just posted a video, but I thought we'd go ahead and try to tear into this old radio here. She's in pretty bad shape. Um, <clears throat> I went to pick it up by the handle, and this happened. So that's not good. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get the whole chassis out of this thing. And then we'll go from there because I'm going to try to pull off a miracle. I'm going to try to glue this back. And I'm going to try to fill in some of these holes with some filler that I have. The only thing is my filler is white. So, I don't know if I can maybe get some, maybe blue paint and paint the filler or what. But we'll just, we'll get to that when we get to it. So, let's try, guys, get this out of the case. It looks like it only takes a couple screws here. So, let me put you all up on Sky Vision. Alright. So, what I'm going to try to do, guys, I'm going to try to take this whole radio out of here and it looks like there's just a few screws holding it so we'll do that first and after if we can get it out we'll give it a nice overlook and then we'll check the tubes and we'll go from there i think we can take this i got uh step over my screwdriver so it's not heat sink from those um those lots that i was working on light bulbs from LEDs that video we made and I got some toilet well not toilet paper paper towels in here I thought I had I'll have to get a new one <laughs> getting low again I go through paper towels like crazy this crap walker here that heat sink is nasty stuff right. I think we can take this screw out here Probably need something to put these in. It's weird because each everything's got a green. Somebody painted each screw green. Let's see if I can find something to put these screws in, guys. Clean this little tin out. It's a soldering paste, and I've never used it because it, it's old. So I'll show you what it looks like. It don't smell too bad, but it sure looks nasty. That's soldering paste. Probably from, it's Allen. Allen's soldering paste. It says, keep out of reach of children. I don't know how old that is. They don't have a scan bar, so it's probably pretty old. Pretty old stuff. I've just been debating on whether to uh, just take it all out of the tin. Cause I do like the tin it came, came in. Because it's handy to put screws and stuff in. All right. Lose that one. Thought my, thought my screwdriver was magnetized. That one is. We we'll have to magnetize it again. All right. I think. I think we have one here. Come out. piece of cardboard in between this transformer. And let's see where else we got one. 
maybe up here in this corner might be one that is going to be holding this together. Screwdriver sticking to everything else but that. <laughs> it might be a brass screw. But I can't get a hold of it. Let's see if that loosened things up. Yeah, I think it'll come right out now. The little speaker looks good. They had that here on top of the the tube, so the tubes must not get hot. Which say I say that I pretty much figure they don't. I guess this is the uh, F cans, these little square things. There's a little tuning capacitor. That's what the radio looks like out of the cabinet. So. I don't know what that was, but it's long gone. Dump all this crap out. So, they got some kind of fabric here for the, the grill. Let's take this old tape off. It's probably been on here probably 50 years. see what we got and what's going to take to fix it if we can fix it to be an old tape it is on there good I'll have to figure something out with that so what I'm thinking about doing guys I think I can get this glued back with some good Quick big glue. Get it all put back like that. And then get some filler. Maybe get some uh I'll have to put something behind it so the filler can stay in. But uh get this braced up so I can fill all this in the filler and go from there but I think we can fix it we'll just get it glued in like that let that dry really good and then we'll get some kind of uh, cardboard or something and tape it off on the back here that way when I put my filler in one good thing, the the uh, letters didn't break out. This part didn't break out. So I think I could, when I sand all this stuff, and feather it in, and then just paint it. Because it'll be white. My filler will be white. I think it'll glue back together. I wish we had that piece. If we had that piece, I can get it glued in. And nobody would even, you have to look hard to even see it. So let's just set this aside for now. Definitely got some work to do on the little case. I don't think this is Bakelite. I think this is the first plastic that was, they started making back in the 50s. 
That's what I'm thinking. Because it don't feel like Bakelite. It just feels like plastic. Cheap plastic. And they've got um, copper inserts here for the to hold the chassis in. So this is probably about the time when they started going away from Bakelite. So, let's turn our attention over here to the, little, the radio itself. And let's check these tubes. Get the tube checker. Get it fired up. First one we'll check is this one here. If I can get out of there. And these little looks like the prongs are going to need to be cleaned. They've turned green like the hawk. This is the one U5. Let's see if she works, guys. Yep, she's good. She just she's going to need clean. I need uh, a piece of emery cloth or something. Clean those. Let's see. I thought I had some emery cloth. It's pretty coarse paper. It probably would work. But I got this little stainless brush here. Kind of clean these with this first then we'll hit it with the sandpaper see that green see the green tint on the plugs definitely need cleaned off I don't know if my brush is that dirty or is that corrosion coming off the tube something's coming off of Good clean. If I push too hard. That looks better. that one out let's take this one out with the tube shield check it first the tube shield has a ground on it I don't know what that's all about here's uh, this one is the 3S4 and the film is checked good on it it also needs brushed off this first radio I've ever encountered the pin socket or the pins crowy like this it's set somewhere for a long time in probably a damp climate. Okay, there's that. Get that put back in.
this one is the IR5. I don't know what that brand is. It says 10. I guess the, the brand is 10. I think it's what it says. It's good. Same thing, he cleaned off. and clean this uh, little set only has four tubes put that back in there and let's get this one out this one is the I1T4 or IT4 and the two are called tin or fin. It's either a fin or a tin. Get my magnifying glass and look. Let's see here. Tin. T T E N is the tube uh, brand. I've never heard of that before. And it is also good, guys. So our tubes are good. Let's clean this one too. I don't know. These go on the end. I guess to keep that. I guess that was to keep those that antenna in place. And whatever it was, it's falling apart. This uh, cruddy stuff right here. It's a clear little thing for the um, battery, which I think is pretty cool. It's still in place. I think this little radio is pretty cool just out by itself. I really do. But I'm weird like that. <laughs> Let's see, I don't want that setting on the tubes. I just gotta get this one clean guys and we'll put it back in and we'll move forward and we'll check the transformer and stuff make sure it's not open and do a couple little checks here and there and then we got to figure out what kind of voltage this takes I, I think that um, the filament voltage uh, is a 1d cell battery I think and that'll take care of that and then I would say the high the high voltage is probably about 45 volts that's basically what these run and they came real good and clean so we got our tubes they're all good and they're all clean and they're all back in nice and tight so, that's good. And what I'm going to do next, guys, is I'm going to go run in the house. But I'm going to just whip my magnet sit here with my screwdrivers. I'm going to run in the house and get that. All right, my hands feel all cruddy. And um, get them cleaned off. And then when I get back here, um, we'll check some bowages and see if the transformer is good and check the um, IF cans and all that. Alrighty guys, um, I got some battery, some battery, this is only 50 volts, let's check, let's see, Man, it's almost, it's 41 volts, or 40, I don't know if that's going to be enough, 45, I have a battery pack here, 
But it's about 70 votes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let's see what it has. Maybe they're weak. I don't think that's going to be enough to... There went all my little screws. So much for putting them in a... Container, huh? I lost one of them. I, I know where it went. And it's going to be hard to find. Hmm. Doggy. Well, we have two of them. Oh, that'll hold it. I need to set them out of the way. One of them fell down over the bench here. So, let's check this big pack here. It's 86 votes. 86, 87, and we need a 67. Is that what we needed? I think so. I wonder if 20 more votes would be too much. Let's see. 80, 67. So, 67. That's almost 15, almost 13, 14 more votes. I don't know if that would be too much for it. We'll try to do the 47. And go from there. <clears throat> so let's hook these up. Make sure to turn it off. Hope I didn't kill that battery. Surely it didn't hurt it. Never know about these cheap batteries, though. And this is the ground. We need to hook our ground up. And let's hook up the positive. <clears throat> so we're going to be running about 41 votes through the B plus voltage. So let's see what it does, guys. Let's see if that's enough. I don't think it's enough juice. Let's see if we're getting any voltages up to the power sources. Yeah, there's 37 votes. I'm not getting any over here, though. No, oh, there it is. 39. 47. Thirty-eight. Well, where our filaments are. There's the forty-seven. see guys I don't know what's going on here we're getting our filament voltage or not filament but we're getting 
our voltages to our high voltage. We're not getting our filament voltage. pins are touching because they were dirty. I just had I haven't found our filament yet guys That's what I'm looking for 37. So let me kind of fish around here and see what's going on with the filaments. Because we're not getting no juice to our filaments at all. So let me look for those and I'll be back. Alright guys. Um, we're not getting... Okay, when the voltages come into the um, potentiometer from the um, A voltage... It's coming in, but we're not getting it back out for some reason. So I want to shoot some cleaner in here. See if we can clean this, clean this thing up a little bit somehow. I can, if I can find a way to spray it in. I don't see any holes or anything. I don't know if that'll take it in there right there or not. It may. It may drizzle in there. Because we're not getting any juice to come on the outside unless well the battery says uh one volt and that's pretty good it's a 1.2 volt battery so let's put our battery back in again let's check it Okay, there's our boat coming in. So it should be coming out up here on one of these, I would thought. But we're not getting anything. So that's what I'm dealing with. Let me see if I could. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. So as soon as I figure that out. Alrighty, guys. I am back. It is actually now Sunday afternoon. It is 10 minutes till 2. And we're back working on this little radio that we got yesterday. And I worked on it, guys, quite a bit on and off yesterday evening. And uh, I don't believe we're going to get this one working right now um let me get you all scooted up and zoomed in all right um the, uh, the potentiometer guys is bad in this and um it's it's keeping us from getting our um filament voltage 
So what I done, I, I tried to go around the switch and it either doesn't work that way or I'm not, you know, I, I don't know. I just, uh, I've ended up getting uh, the 1.3 volts. I end up, you know, getting on this first tube. Oh, I want to turn that stanner off, guys. It'll drive us nuts. Not right. But, yeah, what I was saying, guys, um, I got the 1.5 volts to this first pin here. But, I cannot find the 1.5 volts on any of the other pins. So, I don't know if there's a wire broke or one of these resistors is uh, bad. I really don't know. Um, here, I'll show you the 1.3 bow. Just get it hooked up. But how I, um, what I did, guys, to get the voltage through, since the switch isn't working, um, this little green wire. And hook the ground here for a minute. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But right here is where the uh, 1.5 volts comes from this D cell battery. And it comes in right here. Is my light not on? There we go. It comes into the switch right here to this, the top. And then you're supposed to be, you know, when you turn it on, of course, the voltage will either come out, and I have figured this out, it would either come out of this yellow wire or this white wire. And to get the 1.5 volts on this first tube, I've been doing, I've been hooking a wire to this here. So what I've been doing, I've been, been taking a little um, jumper and hooking it here to the green wire coming into the switch from from the um, 1.5D battery coming in. Hook the jumper to where it goes into the switch and then out of, and just hook it right here to the white wire. So in, th in thinking that might work, you know. Which I don't know why it wouldn't, because it'd be pretty much like turning the switch on. So then that white wire, it runs down through here, up, and over here. Into this first tube. Now, that's, uh, that's as far as I can get the voltage going for the tubes on the filament. So I don't know. But we'll, uh, I'll show you. I'll hook it up and show you. And um, to sum it all up, the switch is broken. We're not getting our voltages, our um, filament voltage. To sum it all up, guys. Because it was probably kind of hard to understand what I was trying to explain there. And I was just trying to use a jumper to get around the switch. I'll hook this ground up. We have 67 volts, which that's what this little radio needs. 67 volts <clears throat> to operate. It will actually probably operate probably around 50 volts. Or a little less. But we have all the right voltages, so it's, that's not... Huh. Kind of hit when I do that. I kind of hear a little, that's the first time I've heard it too, a little kick into the speaker. Hmm. Yeah, you kind of hear the speaker kind of hit a little bit. So at least it's doing that. So, it's all hooked up the way it should be. 
I kind of got this transformer look loose a little bit so I could test because I didn't have no room. Kind of wiggle these tubes a little bit. You can kind of put my ear to it, see if there's any. And there's nothing at all coming out of it. Now, we'll test those bowages, like I was telling you. Um, that we should have the 1.5 here, like I was telling you. So let me... To put this on DC. There we go. And when I do this, this battery gets warm. When I jump it over like that. Let's take it to the yellow because I think I. I think I had it hooked to the yellow, guys. That's our 67 votes there. And I'm not finding I'm not even finding the 1.5 votes again. So we're just not getting our filament votes, guys. And I believe that is what is wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Y'all can't see the little meter while I'm testing all this. Right. Whoa, whoa, what we got here? That's... <clears throat> Shouldn't have jumped out. <laughs> Must have it on the wrong setting. So right there's 67 votes. I guess we're going to go to the 300. There it is. But I cannot find Maybe I need to turn it down. Let me see, guys. I got. Let me see if I can find a voltage now on this battery. I wasn't even finding. That 1.3 votes is hard to. There it is. Mm. 
So there's the 1.3 volts. So battery's not. I thought maybe the battery where it got warm maybe went bad, but it didn't. So let's try this again. We got this set 1.3 where it'll actually pick it up. The radio is actually warm. So I don't know, guys. I, this, that, like I said, the switch is bad. I cannot find because I've got this set down on three boats on the um, multimeter. That's why you're seeing I'm hitting the 67 boats. That's why it's pegging out. I'm accidentally tapping on the 67 boats. But I'm just feeling around here, guys. Trying, and I'm if you all see it move a little bit, just a little bit, that means we got our filament, filament voltage. And I just don't have it. Moved a little bit there. And let's get down here to this other pin. So, there ain't no sense wasting any more time on it, guys. But, it is not, you know, it's an old radio. And, unfortunately, I don't have any of those uh, pretensiometers pre here in the shop. Um, it seems like every radio I, I get... Those are different. The one I have, I got a couple laying around, but this one only has two on the bottom, two little contacts, and I need four, I think, on this one. Let's see. Yeah, one, two... One, two, three. So, the way that this one's set up, it needs three contact places on the back of the potentiometer, and then it needs three here on top, which just has the three here on top. So, I don't know if that, if I could rig it up somehow. I don't think so, because I've tried switches out when they wasn't the same. It never worked. And, um, just seems like you got to have the exact same one in the right ohms to work. So, I even cleaned this little, um, switch out. And it actually made it worse because you can't feel it. Because you know how when you usually turn them off, you hear a little click. and feel a little click. After I cleaned it, I don't even get that no more. So, I don't, well, there it is. Started working again. Huh. It wasn't doing that last night. I swear, guys. Let me hook this back up one more time. Maybe I had it turned off. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Because, yeah, I sprayed that out last night. And tried to clean it. And it quit turning off, on and off. So, so we'll give it another go here before we go to Plan B.
Hope everybody's having a great Sunday. Hope y'all had a really nice weekend. I have. It's just flown by. When it's uh, my weekend to work Saturdays, it does do that. Because I work um, every other week. Um, I work till noon on Saturday. So, it don't take long till it's Monday morning again. So we got the 67 volts back in it, guys. And we'll just put the battery back in. And we'll turn it on because I that switch just started turning back on. So we'll see what it does. Actually, trying to do something, guys. I hear a little squeak. So let me work with it a little bit more. She's trying to trick me. It's got a little life there. Alright guys. I found the problem. I got to solder. I got to solder that ground back on. Hopefully it won't give me too much problems. So let's do that real quick. I don't know why I got up all my solder. I had a bunch of that laying around. The good stuff. Had a whole stick. hate that to cut another little piece off. Maybe that's no, just need a little piece. Right now. Just need to put a little on the, the wire real quick. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we gotta put it back down in here. It goes right in the middle of the tube socket. This cardboard's not helping me. I need something to hold that back. Get in there. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to have to solder that wire back on. Alright, guys. I got it soldered back in. And put the cardboard back. Where it goes. And we'll try it again. Let's see if it's off. Oh, she's off. Let's give it another go here. On the ground. Ground. It's getting hot here in Kentucky. Starting to sweat a little bit. Can't wait till my little air conditioner comes in. My little inside air conditioner. I still have my other window air conditioner, but it just does not work because I don't have a window here in the shop, in the shed. 
So, hopefully my air conditioner will get here soon. Because I believe the heat's coming, guys. The heat and the um, insects. Alright. Let's see now. See what she'll do now. Oh, I forgot to put the tube back in, guys. We'll get it. I took that tube back because I didn't want to get that socket hot. Well, these are the hardest things to get in. Alright, guys, let's see what it does now. I got the tube in and everything, so she should fire up. Let's see. Get my fan turned back around here. Battery ain't good. Let's see what's going on here. It's saying good. See what's going on with this one, guys. I ain't having no luck. Alright, guys. We're going to finish this video. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that one R5 is bad. Because I got the, the radios on. Say what? I can touch the top of the, the tube. So we got juice coming through because I was worried. I, I didn't know if it. And you can hear like a little bit of static. So the radio's on, but we're not picking up any signal. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it now because, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of tired of messing with it for the time being. But I'm going to, I got another hour or five that I'll throw in this. And we'll see if that's what it was. Because I know this radio played last time. The last time that I used it. So you can hear it. I put my finger on top of that. So the radio's working. It's just not picking up a signal. So if that's the case... Maybe it's what was wrong with the other radio. Which I wasn't really getting no power at all through it. Who knows. But anyway guys. We'll get them working. I hope you guys have fun. Or found something interesting in the video. So. Until next time guys. I'll see you. Right here at Redneck Ways. You guys stay safe. And have a great Sunday evening. Bye guys.